Now come to the um, structures of the vault and important information about the vault. The vault or calvaria are uh, part of neurocranium and the boundary of the vault is uh, anteriorly sub uh, supraorbital margin and uh, laterally superior trochlear line and posteriorly superior nuchal line. So uh, this is the demarcation line between uh, vault and base of the skull. So in vault we can see some sutures which are discussed in, in um, previously and uh, the interior of the vault is very important and in interior here is a sulcus which is known as uh, superior sagittal sulcus it has two leaves two lateral leaves here is one leaf there is another leaf two leaves gives attachment with the fox cerebri which is known as fold of dura mater and this sulcus provide uh, lodgement of the superior sagittal sinus about, uh, we have di we will discuss about this sinus in later and uh, in the interior we also can see some uh, groups and these are uh, the groups for uh, middle meningeal vessel and these are uh, groups for middle meningeal vessel and uh, these groups are produced by uh, middle meningeal veins rather than middle meningeal artery and uh, some structures known as granular pit here is granular pit here is another granular pit these are granular pit so granular pits are formed due to lodgement of arachnoid granulation and arachnoid lacuna these are important for absorption of csf csf absorption is important uh, important for to maintain the intracranial pressure And in the whole of the uh, vault, we see many small foramina, which are uh, which provides the passage of emissary vein. And what is emissary vein? Emissary vein are the connector uh, connector between the intracranial venous sinus and extracranial veins. And importance of emissary vein is it maintains the intracranial pressure, and it also important for it is a passage or pathway to spread of pathogen from a external to uh, internal so uh, the another term is diploic vein so diploic veins are the veins which supply, supply the diploic tissue and uh, the in examination you may be asked the what are the basic difference between the emissary vein and diploic vein the basic difference in the direction emissary vein uh, are emissary vein can flow blood in uh, both direction but diploic vein uh, can flow blood in uh, single direction the another term is biparietal diameter we have to know about uh, this the importance of biparietal diameter this is parietal tuber the maximum the di transverse diameter of the vault is uh, known as biparietal diameter which is important for <coughs> the surety or insurity of uh, the vaginal delivery and uh, the um, parietal tuber is also important for uh, some uh, ossification center of uh, the parietal bones start here and uh, the vernix sensory space area are uh, lies just opposite to the uh, parietal tuber